My name is Ron McCallum and I'm a law teacher at the University of Sydney where I teach labour law. I've been totally blind since birth. My job has been for most of my life being a law teacher. That is, I lecture law students in employment law and administrative law. I lecture them at the University of Sydney. If anyone were to ask colleagues who I was, they'd say, Ron McCallum's that blind labour law academic. At the moment, we're sitting in the Vision Australia Library, which makes books for we blind and vision impaired people throughout Australia. This library is so important to me because it prepares books that can be read either by speech using a daisy format or by braille, paper or more often now computer generated, so that I and other blind and vision impaired people throughout Australia can read the books. The eyes that bleed by Michael Tucker, read by Ian Craig. In ordinary libraries, I can only touch the books. They're printed. Here, I can read them. And there are 20,000 subscribers to this library throughout Australia. And particularly for more senior citizens who are losing their sight, it's fantastic that they're able to continue reading books via Daisy Disc through this library. So to me, Libraries have always been important, and this library's the most important one. I get very passionate about children, blind children, learning to read. And this is a room for braille books and other goodies, so that if mum or dad come in with their small child, there's a place for the small child to see all the braille books and all the interesting things. The suitcase I'm going to talk about is part of the Felix Library for blind and vision impaired children, little ones. And so we send them a suitcase and in it we'll have the storybook. And it'll have braille on it so they can read the braille. It will have a CD recording of the book so that they can listen to the book. And it will also have um, something about the book in the suitcase. So the book, there's a C in my bedroom, has a shell, a real shell. The whole idea is to bring the books and bring braille and bring sound to our blind small ones so that as they grow, they will learn to read in all the different mediums. It's like a seed. The, the case is like planting the seed that's going to help these children grow and become educated and become the professionals of tomorrow. The services of the Vision Australia Library are quite extraordinary. I love the newspaper and magazine service. Every morning when I get up and make a cup of tea, I race to my computer, go to the Vision Australia downloading system and download the Sydney Morning Herald and the Australian. I've got them on my little reader by about quarter to six and I read them with synthetic speech. I actually get my newspapers before my wife gets hers, and that gives me a great thrill. Second generation of military commission, which relies on statutory authority, unlike the first generation which was created under executive order. I can download magazines and books from the Vision Australia online library, and that's fantastic. I was very honoured to be nominated as Senior Australian for this year of 2011, although I must confess, being only 62, I found the word senior a little difficult to get used to. I regard where I am now as the wisdom end of the life spectrum. My message is simple. Disabilities can and do occur in all families. I want all my fellow Australians to give to all of we people with disabilities the same human rights and inherent dignity which most Australians take for granted. I want my fellow Australians to walk up and talk to we people with disabilities and to recognise we're part of the great family, the community, which is Australia. So being Senior Australian of the Year, this is a fantastic platform to put forward this view of equality which will benefit the whole of Australian society. Music